so we got up really early this morning. I've actually been awake since five because <laughs> my uh, foot was hurting. But um, we're going to Frank right now to do the strings. And um, it's a two hour drive. He lives in a very peaceful place. Um, but it's gonna be exciting. The, the strings already sound amazing on the song, but it's computer programmed. So now we're gonna sit with Frank. He's gonna record them by himself. and. Nothing beats real, real instruments, and um, Frank is a genius. Let's go. Sometimes I wish I could hear a song for the first time again. From the moment we had the piano and just the melody line humming on it, we already had goosebumps feelings, and then we 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 got the lyrics done, and we got Dean Dean his vocal on it, then we got. Today we're gonna get the strings on it. And then yesterday we got the guitars on it. The day before we got the drums on it. And then I think the version that the people hear at one point, when they heard for the first time, is for me version 50 something or 60. I don't know how crazy I will go with um, with my project file, but I can't imagine someone hearing version 50 something for the first time. You know. I was already going crazy and had goosebumps with version one or version two. So sometimes I wish I could hear a song for the first time again. Especially because I've heard every step of the process. It really sounds amazing. But then when Frank is gonna do it with real strings, it's gonna, it's gonna be crazy. So we draw the MIDI in here and I give the MIDI to Frank. And Frank just sits and he records every part separately on his violin and then puts it all together and it sounds like a, like an orchestra. It's gonna be amazing. This is gonna be so sick with real strings. Hey, hey, hey. Ben je zien, jongen? Oh. Gek. <laughs> Een beetje werk en uitvoering hier en daar. Wauw, oh. wat sick. Ik was even aanpezen. Ik heb natuurlijk uh, zondag mijn, uh, mijn solo-concert gehad. Ja, hoe ging het? Dat was ja. helemaal te gek, ja. Super. Summer days. Frank is the genius behind Scared to be Lonely, Pizza, oh, the Jota strings, Bite, right? <laughs> uh, the strings. <laughs> yes. So when I play my tracks for Martin, I, uh, I use all these instruments here uh, to play the parts. So I usually play like uh, four first violins and then four second violins and some violas. And then I program some samples around it so it sounds like a real orchestra or even better than a real orchestra, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> I try to. Yeah. From the empty... Yeah. Working with Frank, he gives me a lot of options, and it's nice, we work very directly. It's, it, it's literally us, voice notes of us humming melodies for the melody lines of the violin, or, or if there's one note that, that could be different, or if, if the chord can be played different. Yeah. It, like it's it's until the very fine details and what is nice is I work with MIDI and Frank also works with MIDI so we go back and forth on the MIDI part and then when we're happy with all the notes with the placement then we lock it in and then Frank does his magic with all the violins and makes it sound like a full on orchestra so this is cool now he's transferring the notes from the MIDI file I send him into notes that he could read. So uh, yeah, so so this is just the MIDI part of, uh, of the strings mm -hmm. here, but that's, you know, you can't read that uh, to play on an instrument. So now I transfer it to a score. Now I get it in musical notes and now I can play it. So oh, excited. Take one. It already sounded amazing with just the computer strings, but then the depth that Frank can give with, with playing yeah. the real instrument is amazing. Now I'm just gonna sit and enjoy. <laughs>
every take I do, I try to put my heart and soul into it. And, and that's what you hear when you listen to the strings. You know, there's an added layer of emotion. There's an extra dimension in the, in the warmth of the sound. That's one. <laughs> How many layers do you record of each um, partie? Uh, well, well, four first violins, three second violins, and then two violas. See. So it's four, three, two, uh, oh, nine, nine parts at least. Huh? And then I do the, uh, the other parts, the string pads separately and the staccatos also separately. So it's about 20 more parts to record, something like that. <laughs> This is like a, a place in the middle of nowhere, and nobody would know this. This is here, uh, but all, everything you hear, you know, string-wise uh, on Martin's records comes from here. Uh, and it, it's for me also. It's great fun to hear where all the songs end up. And you know, it's made here in Colendorn somewhere in the middle of the Netherlands. So Frank just sent me the first render of the violins. It sounds crazy. This is day number 63. <laughs> um, he hasn't let me out yet. Um, no, it's day number, I think day number seven, and we've we've done a lot of stuff. I had to play a couple of shows, we ended up coming back. And uh, we're just doing some final vocals. Because on the other day, if you remember, my voice was completely fucked. Because I had like show, show, show. So we're kind of coming back to do some extra layers of stuff. And maybe to see if we can um, get some little phrases that are better. The song already sounds done, but... Um because we really want to get the absolute best out of us being together. We're going to record a few more things, a few more harmonies. I want Dean to re-record a small bit of the bridge. Why, wow, um, it's amazing. I mean, <laughs> okay, sure. Yes, boss. Yes, boss. <laughs> you know, I'm going to add a fuck ton of reverb on it. <laughs> to the way that we used to. It is. I didn't plan, I wasn't even supposed to be here. Like, this is so weird. Like, I was just going about my life. We'd have a couple of days off in London right now, living the dream. And now we're here in Amsterdam working with a new fucking tune. Like, it's a tune, dude. But we can't go back to the way that we used to love. One take, baby. That's all I did. One fucking take, and I just fucking nail it every time. One take. It's ridiculous, man. Sick, we got those. It's been so fun. Like, this is honestly ridiculous how it's all come together and the first thoughts have just worked and it's very rare when that happens, when the first idea that comes into your head is the idea that becomes the song. Yeah, they sent me these, um, it was just like this, I guess it was like, um, the song was called Sandcastles in the Snow and it was just kind of, the lyrics were kind of just made up words. Like, And so I heard this and it was late at night and I just thought, um, well, that's cool. And I just literally, this is the first thing that came into my head and I took out my laptop and started typing and, and this is what came out. It was... Walking to the door of this old and lonely place that used to feel like home. Ruining in the only Remembering. thing that made me feel like I could start again. We used to oh. hold hands, now we dance alone. Listening to Springsteen playing loud. And it just matched, I was trying to like interpret. And then I came up with this, I just had three bridges I sent, I sent Marty, I sent him this one. Which is really, the first thing, I just literally took my phone out and pushed record. But I can't escape, it's lost in my head. I'm running from the death and the feeling fade. Which is what became, I can't escape. escape. You're still in my head. Oh, I'm running from, I'm running from the emptiness. 
fucking sick, eh? I'm getting the fucking tingles, man. I got goosebumps too, bro. Me too. That was so oh, dude, sick. I getting... Dude, I had goosebumps. I still, if I think about it, I got goosebumps again. Yeah. <laughs> You never know if something's gonna be a hit, but I'm really proud of this song. Dean is really proud of this song. I think we've played it already over 400 times because we're such a fan of the song ourselves and we're really proud of it, so I'm excited to share it with the world. We have all the elements, all the puzzle pieces to make the puzzle, and now yeah. Dean, Dean can go back on tour. He's allowed to leave my house after a week. <laughs> Captured him here yeah, for a week. This place is terrible, man. It's so shit. It's so small and tiny. I hate it. <laughs> and um, now, it, now it's a matter of finishing and polishing up the song. And then next time we'll see you, we'll probably the song will be finished. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go. <laughs> Sick. I'm gonna get some pieces. <laughs> yeah, go fix your leg, bro. <laughs> hey, man. Yo. Hey guys, wait.